Box Inking Media in association with Box Raw. Mr. Gerald Tucker in the house. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing good, man. How you doing, brother? Good to see you again. Yeah, it's good to see you finally in person and not on a Zoom call. You're right in Newcastle. How you find your Newcastle? Newcastle is cool so far, man. I'm vegan, man. There's a whole bunch of vegan options out here. So the eating been good, been a nice hotel. Um, and now we're at the fights. And uh, we're gonna, we got some time here to, you know, to enjoy the city for a couple days. And then we're going to head to London for a couple days. Yeah, so I'm, I'm a, I tell you the rest about Newcastle. Give me a couple days. I'll tell you how it was. Good stuff, man. So your lady, Clarissa Shields, is in the house. You come on a bit. Let's buy a mission to watch Savannah Marshall. It's a former Clarissa opponent. What are you expecting to see in the fight tonight? Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to see, but um, Savannah's um, she's in her backyard. Um, this is her promotional banner. So I'm pretty sure they're going to get her uh, a win. And um, so she should look herself. She should look herself. There's a lot of talk about Savannah power everyone's talking about Savannah being the heaviest female puncher of all time and obviously Clarissa talks a lot about her power as well what's what's your views on that uh, yeah I heard them say that today that she's um, the uh, hardest puncher in the history of women's boxing uh, I can't agree with that you know there's some, some real strong uh, fighters out there but um, the power we're gonna stop her so we see what that matters. What does the power matter when she? The power matters when she gets stopped. Big power that night. Big statement. I think the fight's expected to be announced for June, as long as Savannah wins tonight. Is, is that as you understand it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think end of June, I believe. I'm not sure, but it, uh, towards the end of June, if she wins, yeah. Um, and Clarissa, she's ready, man. We're gonna train tomorrow, tomorrow morning, and um, every day that we're here. So she's ready. She's hyped up. Good stuff. You're in a privileged position. You're also the trainer of Adrian Broner and Floyd Mayweather. So I'm going to speak quickly about them too. So Adrian first, I'm a big fan of him as you already know. What is the latest with Adrian Broner? Uh, Adrian um, is back uh, working out, um, which is a great thing. Um, he's just shaking the rust off, getting um, getting back into his groove. So um, that's good. He's um, going to go in June as well, I believe. Um, maybe at the end of June, I believe. So yeah, he's um, he got more than enough time to, to shake the rust off and, and get back in fight shape. I think he said about a month or two ago that he was going to stop drinking. Has he stopped drinking? Yeah, he stopped drinking. Uh, I think it's been longer than that, but um, I'm not sure. Um, you know, I'll talk to him. I quit in, uh, on New Year's forever, and I haven't had, had one. Um, you know, it's hard for us that, you know, that used to drink or for people that do drink, you know, to quit or smokers to smoke and whatever. But um, um, I'm just glad he's taking the steps forward to, to not do it again because he realizes it's not good for It's not pushing his career where he wanted to go. So it's, it's a great thing that he's quit. He's achieved a lot in the sport and people always say about him he could have achieved more. So I hope he's on the road to recovery and he can bring some more exciting nights in boxing. Your man Floyd Mayweather, I spoke to Money Kicks, uh, the YouTuber in Dubai, and he said to me that the fight with him and Floyd was ready to be made, but it got cancelled because Floyd's team changed something in the contract. What do you know about that? I have no idea about any of that stuff. Um, I just ask Floyd when we're going and, and uh, he, he lets me know and then I get prepared for that. Um, but I, I have no idea on what happened with um, why the fight didn't go through. Do you know anything about fighting on a helipad on, on a big tall hotel in Dubai? Yeah, all that stuff was, you know, that the world knew that, the, that it was posted online about the fight. Yeah, I knew all that stuff. But, um, the you know, to when it's getting pushed back and um, uh, who's the opponent going to be, that's all news to me is to be announced soon. So no opponent, but you're saying Floyd is definitely back in May? I can't say for, for, for certain, but um, I believe a new opponent and it may. Could we ever see Floyd in a professional ring or is it only ever going to be exhibitions from now on? Uh, I'm a huge Floyd fan myself, man, and um, I would love to see him. Love to see him in a, in a boxing ring risking his record again. And because um, so many people like me, you know, love his style and love to see him get in the ring, to see what he's going to wear, how he's going to perform. So I know I'm not the only one. So um, I, I hope he does. But um, there's no telling. It might sound crazy, but if he was to come back in professional boxing, if he was to take on somebody like Errol Spence, who's at the top of his game, what happens? Uh, Floyd is still Floyd. I can't say what would happen, but Floyd is still Floyd. Um, I hope people don't get the um, 
the idea that the fighters they've seen fade in the past at their uh, certain ages, uh, it applies to Floyd. It doesn't. Floyd is different. Um, and um, you'll be able to tell. You'll see yourself if he gets in the ring with, with somebody like an Errol Spence or whoever. You'll, you'll see that um, some people just defy all, all the odds. So he's saying, just to wrap up, there's every possibility he could even come make a professional come. There's every possibility he could make potentially a professional comeback, but nothing's written off. See me, I'm optimistic, man. I'm super positive, and um, I can see it happening. I can definitely say it's a possibility. On that note, I think fans will be excited with that. We'll leave it on that. And uh, Jill, it was nice to meet you in person, and uh, enjoy your rest of your stay in the UK. All right, thanks, brother. I appreciate it. Nice to meet you in person too.